Hi and good day. Inflammatory mediators, what are they? Why is it that you don't have to have a herniated disc or a bulging disc or a serious pathology, but you're in so much pain? You take the MRI, the MRI says, wow, nothing's, nothing's abnormal. You take the CAT scan, you go through all these objective tests and they can't find anything. Well, there are inflammatory mediators that are given off from the disc. When the disc goes through degenerative changes, uh, degenerative disc disease, if there's instability or weakness in the annular fibrosis, which is the outside fibers of the disc, uh, if the inside of the nucleus is causing irritation against the fibers, and there's any type of weakness in a disc, the disc is known to give off these inflammatory mediators. Uh, these are in inflammatory chemicals that are secreted from the disc and around the localized area. Even though there is no nerve root compression, there is significant pain, burning, uh, just a hard type of pain that the person cannot understand or the doctors cannot find. I want to give you hope because most of these types of conditions usually pass within time. They're self-limiting. No matter what you do with it, no matter how much therapy you get, generally the body's got to go through this inflammatory response and the body has to clean out this inflammation. Now, natural inflammatories like turmeric, ginger, using ice, uh, having the right posture, preventing forward head posture, rounded shoulders, using a support behind your back while seated, uh, lifting incorrectly. When I talk about bending from the knees, not leaning over, uh, realize that the body is always going to go through degeneration. Through the wear and tear that is going through, maybe you're an athlete, an athlete uh, just putting rigorous amount of stress on your body, doing lots of running, working out, whatever it may be, but realize that when you feel significant pain, many of these cases are just inflammatory changes coming from the disc. These are the inflammatory chemicals being released that causes inflammation around that structure. Now, you can still have dermatome changes, you, meaning that certain areas may be abnormal. You may feel tingling numbness. You may feel pain moving to a different area or radiate into the arm or even down the leg. But in many of these cases, MRIs will show negative. So this has to uh, go through its nor normal healing process because everyone thinks that, and even many physicians think that if you have pain, you have to have pressure on a nerve, you have to have a herniated disc. That's not the situation in the case in many, many of these cases. So I hope this gives you a little bit of mental ease because most physicians will not mention this because most do not know about it. So I hope that uh, you recover fast, but make sure you're doing the right thing, holding on to the right ergonomics, strengthening core, very important, not only for the neck, but for the back as well. I ask you to share this video, subscribe if you haven't, and leave your questions below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.